trolled up, I've turned around and I'm trolling back. Bang! 20 and a half hours, all the fishing time, I'm hooked up. Check this out. Bloody starlings getting in the way. Just gonna let him wear down, guys. Because he is a big fish. Whoa. Ah. Oh, he keeps hiding underneath the boat. Oh, he's up the front now. Let's go to the front. Ah. Here we go. Holy Jesus. Holy jeepers. Oh, come on, you could think. Oh, don't go that way. Now we're going to go to the back of the boat. Oh. Where are you going, mate? Gonna turn this motor off. He's hiding underneath the boat. Here he comes. He's definitely not ready yet. Let's see if we can go back to the front. Try and land him from there. Oh, mate, get away from under the boat. Oh, come on. This is a huge fish. Huge fish. Got the net ready. Oh, I just felt a, a uh, hook pull. Come on, mate. Come on, come on. Here we go, guys. Have I got the chance? Yes, I do. Let's go. Oh. Okay, this time. We got him. Holy gosh. I need a bigger net. Oh, he's not in there. Oh. Oh. I need a bigger net. Oh, jeepers. This is chaos. Oh, this is massive. We got him. Holy Jesus. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Holy jeepers. This is... Oh God, I've got to take a breath. Oh, get the pliers. Holy gosh, guys. Wow. Oh, this is just insane. I'll tell you what, it's got to be, it's definitely at 1100. Ah, oh, right. This might be. This might be a new PB. This is just so good. Just gonna get the bogus. Look at that. I don't think it's gonna be my PB, but it's bloody massive. got a, a battle scar just there 
blooming hell. Guys, oh, this is absolutely huge. Okay, let's get this lure out. Here we go. Holy jeepers. Let's measure this. Just trying to move some stuff out of the way here. Wow. How good's that, guys? 119. 119. Unreal. What a solid fish. Just, oh! <laughs> Insane! <laughs> 119. Just an absolute monster of a barrel. So big. You know, the two fish I've landed today is this and one on a meter. That is just unbelievable. Okay, I want to spear this one in. What a fish, guys. Look at it. What an absolute beast. A beast of a fish. <laughs> okay, guys, here she goes. Oh, two fish today, a metre and a 119. And I wasn't expecting that. I was about to pack up, get ready for camp. I'm puffing. <laughs> Stoked. All right, I'll sort some stuff out. I'll get back to you soon. Woof. <laughs> that was it. I didn't even have another trial. I've just thrown the anchor up, smiling. Grinning it here, you bloody ripper. Unreal, a 119. <laughs> so now you can see why I'm having a beer. Just explaining how things were actually, you know, to put it in perspective on what was going on. Bloody unreal. I've just had a shower. Oh, I feel a lot better. So I've just finished that beer. Had the one for the meadery. Now this is for the big girl. 119. <laughs> Second beer. Beautiful. Cheers again. Okay. We'll see you in the morning and let's see how we go then. Hopefully it might get easier, it might get harder, it might get no fish. This is real fishing. There's a lot of hours and hours and days spent chasing these things. So it's not like I just go out there every day where I have had a few comments, people say to me, you know, like, you, know, you make it look easy, it's not easy. I'd be a liar if I told you it was easy. Um, I'm not like that. I want to tell the truth out there, and it's bloody hard work. You might have great days, but you have a lot of bad days. I suppose East Kimberley's Wyndham, it's one of those places where it is hard not to catch a fish, um, but it does happen, you know. Uh, it's taken me over 20 years of working this place out to be able to chase the fish what I'm doing now. So that's 20 years of fishing. That's, it's, <laughs> you add up the hours and the time. Jeez, that's just crazy. So this brings us into day three. The last couple of days, I've been bloody hard. But crack a fish, just awesome. Big fish, you know, not by numbers. And these bites from the last fish until I actually hooked up to this fish here is 14 hours later. Now they're starting to actually become a pattern in the timing where the fish are biting. So I'm kind of just putting all that together and it's actually starting to come together. This is how it begins. I'll roll this on, have a look and see what you think. Here we go again. Another day in paradise. Got a bit overcast last night. Still beautiful out here. The wind's died off. I'll give you a bit of a look. Still a bit overcast over that way. The sun's gonna come out again. Well, what I reckon, what's happened last night, there was a big storm just out from me, and I reckon the Pentecost River up at the top end has had a fair bit of rain. I've noticed a fair bit of foam in the water this morning, especially along the banks. We'll, uh, I'll head over there and show you this foam. You can just see a layer just above that rock bar there. So I reckon that's actually fresh water where it hits the salt just the flow, how it stirs up, creates the foam. So it's gonna be interesting. 
thought it might have cooled the water down. I mean, yesterday was 32.8 degrees. It is, what is that, 30.6 degrees here. It is cooler, but it has been overnight too. Did you like how I used the mirror on that? The reflection, to have a shave? Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Things you do out in the boat. What do we got here? Stick or a crocodile? Had a couple of um, big crocs this morning, actually. When I got up, the tide's coming out now and a bloody big croc was floating in towards me. Been a little bit weary this morning, so quickly packed up camp and just moved out of his way. Live life to the fullest, guys. You do not know how short life can be. Take every full advantage of what you do and what you love doing. Okay, let's get a couple of rods out and crack into some fish. Marking up some good fish here. Let's come back a bit. Oh, there. Quite a few. That was a bloody good hit then. I've got the middle one, a Patriot. And this one just here, short. And it was just a whack. The time I turned around and seen the fish jump. Just gotta watch out where I'm going, I'm running in this sandbar. And it just flew, spat the door out. <laughs> oh. I was just talking to Carney on the phone. Just having a chat, just saying I went live. Oh no, I've got slack. Oh no, we're on, we're on still. Oh, I only just got off on that live too. That would have been perfect. All right, he should, he's coming over your side, so I'm posting him your way there, Carney. Yep, I am. <laughs> I don't think he is a meter, but I can't see him yet. He looked alright when he first jumped. He's about to jump again. Oh, hang on. Put you back down there. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No, it's a big meter. It's a meter. -y. Did you see that? It's a metery. Okay, let's play this properly now. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get up to the front of the boat in a sec. Where are we going? It's not ready yet. Cool. Jeez, I thought I lost it then. It's on the inner zoomer too. A hundred dollar rod. Come on, mate. Here we go, here we go, guys. Right. So, guys. <laughs> It's definitely going to be close to a, to a metre. I've got the phone going. I know who that is. It'll be Carney. Yeah, mate. Uh, hang on. I'm, I'm trying to... Hang on. Right there. <laughs> I'm still fighting. Yep. Hang on. Just trying to, uh, can you see which way we are here? Hang on. Yeah, hey. it's a meter. Yeah, 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 hang on. I'm gonna turn my engine off. It's coming up your side now. Here we go. Ready? If I lose this, well, ready? Here we go, look. There we go. You ready for the... 
Did you see it? Okay, I've got to net this, mate. And, uh, yep, no dramas. I really want to try and net this at the front of the boat. Okay, here we go. One more wine. Here we go. Woohoo! Where are you? You bloody ripper. Oh. Oh. There we go, guys. What another ripper fish. Oh my now. Wow, three fish, four at a meter. This is just insane. Jeez, we gotta get my bogus. Hands are getting too close there. There we go. We got him off. You still there, Carney? Yeah, no worries. Hey, Carney's fishing out the NT. Yeah, I think it's just with me. Well, I've got you. Okay, let's get this. Put him on the brag, man. Here we go, guys. <laughs> oh, you little ripper. What do we got here? Uh, meter. 105. Oh, 105. Just. Yep, hang on. I'll just get this camera. 105, guys. Three fish. And it's a 105. Everything's been landed on the meter. Here we go, mate. I'll show Carney. All right, all right, I'll just get rid of this girl and put her in, mate. Oh, easy, mate. I'll talk to you later, eh? Okay, see ya. Cheers, Naga. Beautiful fish. <laughs> Unreal. Okay, let's let this awesome girl go. Spear it straight in. Spear it straight in. Look at that. Woo! You little ripper. It's that time of day. Let's crack a beer. You have to. Absolute cracker. And that was just coming off alive. I was trying to, you know, like pick the best part of the tide and I thought I had it. Then I thought, oh, well, you know, I didn't want to waste everyone's time sitting there alive. If someone's just trolling up and down, it'll get quite boring. Not even five minutes, 10 minutes later, I'd actually had Andy, total carnage, call me. So we're actually just talking on the phone. Bang, the rod goes off. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, just absolute madness. Now that's three fish to the boat, three fish at a meter plus. And I want one for dinner. It's just mind blowing. I can see smaller fish there. So, and numbers, like I'm not using big lures or anything like that. Um, I'm actually using quite, you know, shallow diver lures from four foot, three foot. I've had a Patriot on down to six foot to eight foot. Hey, so like I'm definitely working all different, you know, parts of the column of the water and I'm um, trying to mix it up and yeah, just catch one for dinner. Bloody mission. <laughs> Guys, again, you're going to get sick of me saying cheers, but you have to celebrate a meat of fish. Oh. oh, well deserved beer too. Been looking forward to this all day. It's time to go back to the Barra King, Sam Birch, and find out what else he has to offer for his charters and more interesting stories of his life. So you don't drink anymore, mate? Nah, brother, I gave up eight years ago. 
Yeah, bloody yeah. good on you. Well Turned done. my life around. Yeah. Now I'm living my best life ever. Yeah, awesome, <laughs> awesome. What were you just saying about some corporates and all that? You just uh, met up with? Yeah, so I'm going, so this year, I said earlier on in the video, uh, I went global. I went global. Um, this yep. year I had to go down to Perth and present myself in front of all the UK marketers and uh, sort of sell my business. And um, yeah, we went down there and I did it and I just told them, I said, I'm not the one that you're looking for about the fancy stuff. You can get the real deal with me. You just come, I'm, I'm raw. You're jumping on old 80 series with wires together, the seat, bullet holes through the door. <laughs> you know, you go home with an experience. You go after with me, imagine you have an experience of a lifetime. Awesome. And all hand lines we use, just all land base. Nothing yeah, fancy. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's just um, that's the way we do it. Yeah, they, and they love it. They walk away smiling. Yeah, memories. Oh, yeah, and that'll cool. give you a good feeling too. Good oh, buzz, you know. Yeah, good buzz. I know when I used to do fishing charters, and you know, people get people on the fish and everything, <laughs> and like everyone's catching fish, everyone's happy. You're the most happiest person yeah. in the you know in the world. Yeah. Even I share my life story with everybody that comes on my tour, what I've been through, my journey. Yeah. I do that to share, break, uh, raise awareness of men's health, and also do that to just to give a bit of history of what I've been through to get to where I am today. It wasn't easy. Yeah, no. On how sure. I turned my life around and what I used to do before that. So you've just done a, um, a men's venture. Yeah, so group. on the side of my hunting and fishing business, I do also run a social emotional bean camp for all race, so all race, no matter who you are, more than welcome yep. to come along. And I just finished one big one. I did see a tournament in there. Yeah, tournament. <laughs> <laughs> you got a few back, you four or five different colleges in that one. Yeah. Um, yeah, we got, we just did a big one, yeah. We did, I uh, had 23 men, I think, all up. Yeah, right. And we did, went out for three days out in country, yeah. So we camp out in country. Um, I provide swag, food and stuff, but also, also we live off the land as well. We go shoot, we go hunting, we shoot some cows, shoot some bush turkey, get some fish. Um, and yeah, we have a big cook-ups cook every night. We create that safe place. We uh, have a yarning session um, and just get the message out there that help us all of that. You know, the best thing to do is talk about it. Yeah, not to bottle it up. Yeah, not to bottle it up because we got the highest suicide rate in the world, like men. Yeah. Yeah, we, um, it's very sad, but. You know, but in, the, in your culture, you're saying? Yeah, or? in my culture and also as other men as well, like all yeah. race. Yeah. And it's very important that. We get everybody involved, you know, the black and white thing, I'm, I'm not, that's not me. If you nah. respect me, I respect you. If you want to help, there's that's always it. help out there. We all bleed red, mate. We all feel pain in the same way. Skin they, they exactly, is just the yeah. colour. Yeah, it doesn't matter what colour you are. Yeah. I mean, I've nah. always been brought up in the Kimberleys like that, you know, <laughs> so there's no hiding from me, but everyone, buddy, yeah, yeah. looks at me and I've seen them in Perth. They walk the other side of the street, you know, then, <laughs> and you're looking at them and go, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, that's a bit of what I do with my, with my men's group. Um, but yeah, it's um, very yeah. good to get out there. and I'm in a spot now where I can give back to the community. I'm trying to inspire other men to actually get up and have a crack at life. From, you know, it's, That's bloody awesome, mate. Just get yeah. out there and um, have a crack, really. It's, yeah. The only way is up, really. You can't go any further down if you hit rock bottom, you hit rock bottom. Oh, the only way right. is up, man. And it's just oh. always passing that message is that my house is always open. My phone number's there. Ring me anytime. If you've ever gone through something, just ring me. There's always somebody out there to talk to. That's brilliant. That's need. absolutely brilliant. I yeah. know, I mean, we've all done it, we've all hit rock bottom, you know, and it's been, um, it does take a while for it to turn around. I've done it myself, yep. and uh, it took me many years. So I'm glad I got out of it and definitely in a better, happier place, that's oh, for sure. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. I'm a Wyndham man. That, <laughs> to me, Wyndham is the true heart of the East Kimberley, eh? Yep. Now he lives, this bloke lives in Kununurra now, eh? <laughs> but yeah. I can see for business sense why he yeah. does that to you. And I think, yeah. If you had the option, if it was in the business, would you live in Canada or Wyndham? Uh, I'll probably back Wyndham, but um, yeah. I'd just give it for my kids a better education and yeah. give them something. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. When, Wyndham's uh, still my home. Yeah, I'm born and bred in Wyndham. Yeah, yeah. So with all the land and all that, your family, like background to the land and everything. So I'm, I'm a Balangara person. So Balangara is our area, our, our, our um, corporation for our area, for our country idea. Yeah. So Balangara Reserve and all that stuff. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah my, like my, my mom and dad, they they Balangara people as well. Also, from my mom's side, I'm also Gija and Jaru. Yeah. From Dirty Creek, Holds Creek side. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, my dad's Balangara as well, and, and also Bonaba, so. Fit through. And Bonaba? Yeah. Yeah, Bonobar, right. Yeah. Yeah. But um, we grew up, up here all our lives, so yeah, so we, we call, yeah, this is our home, mate. this is my backyard. Yeah, yeah, um, got a bloody awesome backyard. <laughs> That's what I keep telling everyone, this is my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm on the land. <laughs> 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 No, but yeah, no, it's good. Um, and just good now. That just the main thing, just that message, and um, and yeah, it's just 
Through my business, I never thought I'd be on TV, mate. I never thought I'd be... Last year, the Hemsworth brothers came up, man. I never thought I'd hang out, hang out with them. Really? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> how good is that? <laughs> uh, thanks to Scotty from um, Kimberly Spirit, he lined it up for me. And he, oh, yeah. He rang me up and said, oh, the Hemsworth brothers coming up. You want to take them out fishing? I said, oh, no worries, let's go. Same thing, bro. I just took a pull up with my old 80 series and I hey, fell in love with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, yeah. mate. That's yeah. really good catching up with those You're guys. You're doing Hemsworth like Thor, Hemsworth. Yeah, Thor, big Thor, my Oh, man. wow. Luke Hemsworth there. Yeah. Jeez. Even was the whole Christian family came up here. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. That's unreal. Even just being on TV, man, I never thought I'd be on TV doing um, TV fishing shows. Yeah. We're watching as kids, and now I'm doing it. Yeah. Um, hanging with Mark LaCroix, one of my best mates. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, mate. Kicking dolls. That's funny. Yeah, like, you know, from where you were, you know, say eight, ten years ago, completely now, it's just probably blowing your mind away. You oh, know? definitely, bro. I never ever sat down and actually took everything in from what I've achieved in this last couple of years until to our last month we was in uh, Sydney for the Ford Drive show and I just got off stage because every every day I had to get on stage for a half an uh, hour. So half an hour on one stage, you get off another half an hour on another stage. Yeah. And, um, my missus said, hey baby, sit down and just stop eating and look around, look where we are. And then like I never ever sat down and did that until then I, was, I looked around and it's was like, what the hell? Like I took everything in. Like where am I? Who am I sitting with? I was sitting there with Peter Woods. He owns all those four drive shows. Wow. Hanging out with Mark LaCroix. Hanging out with other, you know, famous like guys. Celebrities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I was looking around, <laughs> and my wife said, "You know, just we never ever sit down and embrace it, and then, yeah, bring a tear to my eyes of how far what I've, what I've achieved in the last four years." And yeah, from now it's just. I suppose the number, the crowd of people looking at you and, oh, they get, uh, and they're getting expired by yeah. you. you know? I'm even getting this box. <laughs> oh, well, I was nervous the Friday because they said, oh, you're on stage first. I was like, oh, I'm here I'm in Sydney, a kid from the bush. Like, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a good experience and I love it. I'm going to Adelaide next week on the 24th to the 27th. I'll be there in Adelaide for the Ford Drum Show and then I'm on to Perth from the. I'm pretty sure it's the 5th to the 8th. I'll be in Perth in November. Uh, I'll be there on stage as well. I'm a special guest. Yeah, uh, awesome. Talking about fishing and hunting and whatever else, yeah. Yeah, that's bloody wicked. So you actually, do you go to like prep or you just go straight from the head, straight out? Yeah, I, no, I just go straight from the head, just pick up the heart there. Yeah. <laughs> so nothing to yeah, written too, down? I reckon it'll be too hard for me to do that. I just, you know, just interview yeah. me and... You just say what, just what's say, on yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they ask me about that. Yeah, yeah. And, I know. Uh, um, they talk about my biggest barra. Uh, what I do and, and all other stuff here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know when I make these videos myself, you know, um, nothing script. No, yeah. You just go straight off the top of your head. <laughs> that's the but, best way, I reckon. <laughs> oh, it is. Well, you're keeping it real. Yeah, you keeping know? it and, real. And I think that's where, you know, it's a lot better that, that way than yeah, having something it. script and, you know, you're working off a plan. <laughs> Shit just goes wrong sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, that's, and that's what I've picked up with my business. It's, if you be yourself, that's what they love. They just, they, they, they come for that experience. Just being yourself, not somebody else. Um, yeah. That's what they love it. They love the most. Because then you be, try to be somebody else and you're not, it doesn't work. Nah, that's it exactly, yeah. So do you have a bit of a team behind you, like, nah. with everything? It's, it's just, just my wife. <laughs> just you and your wife? Oh. Yeah, just my wife, yeah. Just... Yeah, right. Yeah, at the moment. Uh, next year I'll be, uh, I'll be in a place where I'm going to start employing more people to work, fishing-wise, fishing yeah. hunting, yeah. Um, but at this time and the last three years, three years, three and a half years, just been my wife here. Yeah, that's she cool. does all the bookings and bookkeepings. Uh, she's a very busy lady as well. She works for Kimberly Land Council. She's a project manager there, so um, she's very busy. And then when she gets time, she does all that stuff. So she'll just keep you busy at work, keep, yeah, your, keep <laughs> bringing the coin in, and <laughs> she's sitting back rubbing her hands together. <laughs> <laughs> no, at least yeah. you know, she's, if you're busy, yep. she keeps you out of trouble. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Um, yeah, now, yeah, now it's good. My, all my, I get my kids involved. Um, on my 10-day, I pull them out of school, so that's a cultural trip for them. Little, you know, keep them learning, it, keep them connected to the country. They keep them healthy, um, and just so they know the area. So when they, all of them, I want to take over the business, and you know, we get them shooting. They shoot all the. My, my kids are kind of a killer. Yeah. Uh, my kids, my daughter, she's 15. The other day, my son is he's 12, turning 13, and I got a little two-year-old at home. And I got three other kids. Um, my oldest son is 18. He's in Darwin, finishing his last year of schooling. He graduates next month, I think. Yeah. Um, and yeah, my other two is down. My other one in Headland and one other one in Kanara. But um, yeah, right. Other kids, my kids at home, they're very, 
bush kids, they love their bush. Like this morning I'd run away. I had to take my daughter to daycare. And she's like, I don't want to go to daycare, I want to come fishing. <laughs> so tonight when I get back, I got to take her fishing tonight, we're going for a night fish. Oh, jeez. Yeah, right, yeah. Keep her happy. You're a busy man. Yeah, <laughs> the boss. She's the boss. And I see you've actually got your own shirts and everything. Yeah, I got my merch. Um, I'm just going to uh, get a close up here. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Yeah, I got nice. my merch. I just ordered some hats. I got stubby coolers. Um, and uh, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to get backpacks. Yeah. yeah, backpack. Yeah, backpack. Is yeah. that something different? Yeah, nice. I know a lot of people got hats and other stuff. And stuff. I was gonna get backpacks. So when they do, want to pack, so just just one big package, then send them out. Yeah. yeah. So we do have um, these sleeves and also purple sleeves and light blue. So if I want a shirt or anything like that, how would they get one? They go through. I uh, just through Instagram. Give me a text through Instagram. Also on my website, just give me an email. Yep. On the website, yeah. Yeah, right. Nice. And then we'll, we'll send them that. And then that costs, it's, it's 80 bucks a shirt for men and 50 for kids. Yeah, um, already, eh? And then we, well, that covers the postage, everything in that, at that one price. So, guys, what I'll do, I'll put a link on the screen around here somewhere. And um, yeah, I'll give you uh, Virtue's Instagram, Facebook, uh, and um, you'll be able to get hold of him and have a look at his merch and all of something there if you want it as well. Going to pull up for a sec and stop he's got a uh, a surprise bit of a feed we're going to cook up so we're waiting for the best part of the tide it's nearly there but not quite so we're going to have a feed before we get into it all right guys we'll see you soon